Hey guys, it's Daniel from Dash Clicks. In this video, I'm gonna go over a success formula to build a profitable agency from scratch, all right? As always, let's jump right into it. So how do you build a digital agency? I'm gonna give you 11 steps that will give you a sort of a general overview of what areas you need to focus on in order to build a digital agency, okay? Let's jump right into these 11 factors. Number one is you need to spend time on self-education and I'm gonna add reflection as well. So self-education, the more you learn, now keep in mind, you can learn in different ways. One of the ways you'll probably be learning and self-education is by failing. A little harsh, but it is true. Like you will learn so much from doing something possibly finding out that it doesn't work, that you're gonna learn so much from that. But self-education, always striving to learn more, learn your craft better, staying up to date on things, um, always being in the know, in the now, that's gonna be really, that's gonna become self-evident to you the more you do, like build your agency, the more you're like adding time and money and valuable resources into building this company. Your self-education is going to be one of the most biggest key factors you can do. It's just going to help you stay on point. It's going to help your agency grow. It's going to help you grow and really just give a competitive advantage over your competitors. So spend time on self-education. Number two, choose your niche and leverage niche marketing. Just to give you a brief overview on this, this essentially means pick one industry, become an expert at it, learn the lingo, know exactly what the people in that niche are, are their pain points are, what they're struggling with, learn how to target them. And when you do that, you're able to become an expert. When you focus on a broad market, it's difficult to become an expert. And there's thousands of industries, hundreds of different models. So to become an expert in all those, compared to just focusing on one area, one niche, one model, it's easier for you to become an expert and become like the go-to resource in that industry. Number three, there's no need, now you could go national, you can go international, but there's no need to. Don't put that so much pressure on yourself. Start local. Two reasons. First of all, it's less of a market to hit. It gives you, actually three, it gives you a better um, icebreaker and credibility when you go, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm local in this area. I'm reaching out to local businesses, blah, blah, blah. And it just makes the market smaller. Plus, you could walk into these stores and places. You can walk in and introduce yourself. Um, it's a smaller market. You don't have to worry about trying to like spend a bunch of money on ads to like reach out to millions upon millions of people. You can just start with your local community. Number four is perform competitor research, competitor research, which is sort of is self-explanatory. But what you want to do is just take a look at who else is doing this in your niche. Okay, what are you up against? What are they doing? What is the most successful per company in your niche? doing that differentiates themselves and how can you differentiate yourself from that person number six or i'm sorry number five is create a professional website if you're a marketing agency then you need to walk the walk and talk the talk right practice what you preach if you don't have a website no one how is anyone going to find you so build a professional website have all your services have what you do what's what differentiates yourself and let people find you organically and convert them into a client. Number six, build a portfolio. You might say, well, how do I deal with no clients? Find someone, people are more than willing. You'll find someone who'll be willing to let you, let them be a guinea pig for you to work on your craft. But build your portfolio, build case study, case, stu case, stu case, stu case studies, <laughs> use cases. And just build something that you can show other clients that, in fact, you do know what you're talking about. Number seven is set a pricing model. You really need to decide how you're going to charge for services. You need to solidify that. So when you talk to cl potential clients and prospects, you're able to give them straight up answers and tell them exactly what things cost. You know what they cost. You know your profit margin. You know your cost. All that. Or not just cost, but expenses. Number eight is go social. Not only do you need a website, but how are you going to also increase your reach? How are people going to find you in more places? Well, social media. It's free. It takes a little bit of effort, but it doesn't cost you anything. Just make a video, post it out there, talk, 
to your audience, add credibility, add value, build that recognition of you and your brand and attract people to you. Number nine is once you're done attracting people, you need to generate leads. You need to either do that through your website, through social media, maybe you purchase a list, you get a call center, you get sales reps, you get setters, which basically are people who call and set appointments for your salespeople. And number 10, you need to simplify and really get your client onboarding set. Now, if you are working with Dash Clicks, you will know that we have everything you'd ever need to run a successful marketing agency. All the software, which is forever free, so sign up for your forever free account. Just enter your email, no credit card, it's free. And we have a fully white-labeled marketing fulfillment team. Okay, And for this point of simplifying your client onboarding, we have an automated, simple solution to onboarding your clients. It's automated. It gets all the information we need. It sends it to their email. It's a form. It's amazing. Having an onboarding that is simplified and streamlined and optimized is so crucial. You have no idea. Because a bad onboarding experience could be the reason why they quit before service even starts. <laughs> Number 11 is don't kill yourself on trying to be the centralized person that covers everything. You're the accountant. You're the, the account manager. You're the Google ad expert, you're the Facebook, you're the SEO, you're the content, you write blogs, you design websites, the list goes on and on. Hire a white label marketing fulfillment team. If you don't know DashClicks, go to dashclicks.com. We have a white label fulfillment team in practically every service you'd ever need to offer to your clients and every service they'd ever need pretty much. And we have all the software you ever need. So in one place, you get all the software, you get all the white label fulfillment you'll ever need in one place. So to give you an example, you know when you have like a a browser up and you have 45 tabs open and they're all like different softwares you're paying for and they're all like different programs and analytics, log into your DashClicks account, that's all centralized. It's one place, all the software you need, including your fulfillment team, including simplified onboarding, okay? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you sign up for your forever free DashClicks account and I'll see you in the next video.